Good morning. The Faith I Live By, July 25th, The Blotting Out of Sins. Revelation 3 verse 5 says, He that overcometh the same shall be clothed in white raiment, and I will not blot out his name out of the book of life, but I will confess his name before my Father and before his angels. As the books of record are open in the judgment, the lives of all who have believed on Jesus come in review before God. Beginning with those who first lived upon the earth, like Adam and Eve, our advocate presents the cases of each successive generation and closes with the living. Every name is mentioned, every case is closely investigated. Names are accepted and names are rejected. When any have sins remaining upon the books of record, unrepented of and unforgiven, their names will be blotted out of the book of life and the record of their good deeds will be erased from the book of God's remembrance. All who have truly repented of sin and by faith claim the blood of Christ as their atoning sacrifice have had pardon entered against their names in the books of heaven as they have become partakers of the righteousness of Christ. And their characters are found to be in harmony with the law of God. Their sins will be blotted out and they themselves will be accounted worthy of eternal life. The divine intercessor presents the plea that all who have overcome through faith in his blood be forgiven their transgressions, that they be restored to their Eden home and crowned as joint heirs with himself to the first dominion. While Jesus is pleading for the subjects of his grace, Satan accuses them before God as transgressors. Jesus does not excuse their sins, but shows their penitence and faith in claiming for them forgiveness. He lifts his wounded hands before the Father and the holy angels, saying, I know them by name. Their names stand enrolled in the book of life, and concerning them it is written, They shall walk with me in white, for they are worthy. Revelation 3, 4. Christians may daily cultivate faith by contemplating the one who has undertaken their cause, their merciful and faithful high priest. Hope you have a great day today. Live in faith.